Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arcus Studio YouTube channel. So let's get to work. This is the uh, 3D environment that we have in the SketchUp. Very simple and easy, related to the uh, modern villa design in some place near to the uh, Indonesia. And it's really wonderful. So as you can see, I set all of the assets and objects very simple and easy in my environment and now time for the R rendering but we don't know how so I'm gonna open the Enscape in here and I can go to see all my environment very simple and easy with only a few clicks as you can see in here and when I click on this place like the uh, glasses that's called view management I can see my two cameras in here first one and second one as you can see so i'm gonna take my first render in this place but i don't know how so let's get to work i'm gonna click on it and close the view management in here first of all for these type of houses we need two point perspective so i'm gonna change my perspective from the normal to the two point perspective now i want to fix my camera but i don't know how so i'm gonna click on the visual setting and move it a little bit in this place and I want to close this shot very simple and easy so I'm gonna play with the field of view to see the best result but watch out from this high edge of the a house something like that is good so I'm gonna type 68 in here and close it now I want to minimize my Enscape rendering job and this is the uh, SketchUp environment very simple in this place we have some empty area so I'm gonna click on these three in here and take another copy in this place as you can see now it's much better and it's really like the professional renderings so I'm gonna click on the view and visual setting in my Enscape environment I'm gonna turn it to the white mode and now I can see all the shadows much better than the uh, past so i can play with light to see the uh, best result of it i think something like that can be really cool so i want to try different type of settings like that for example something like this and now i can click on the visual setting and turn it to the normal mode as you can see now we have better lighting in here with these leaves and seed shadows in this place so i'm gonna click on the visual setting in here and increase the exposure a little bit about some number like 52 percent i turn on the depth of field and i want to focus on this facade but i don't know how so i'm gonna play with it and some place like that can be really good this edge in here can be really improve our job and rendering so I'm going to type 16 meter for my camera lens flare and 11% for the depth of field. So everything is good right now, but I have some problem with the car's position. So I'm going to click on the asset library in here. I'm going to select this car in this place. Use the rotation option in here. Something like this and move it a little bit to the forward to see better results of it so as you can see when i turn the camera back to the uh, best shot like this now it's much better and completely fill this empty area and this place so uh i'm gonna click on the asset library again but this time i'm gonna select these three in this place and move it a little bit near to the uh, camera something like that and apply changes now it's much better and now I'm going to click on the visual setting and start my rendering job. So I'm going to click on the image bar, use the auto contrast. And for the saturation, I need a little bit much green colors in my area. So increase it a little bit, but be careful because sun is really too high value in here. So 106% is good. And I don't want to get this render much warmer than it. So I'm going to increase the color temperature to normalize my colors temp in here 9400 kelvina is really good motion blur is zero lens flare zero bloom zero and vignette is about 10 percent 
and chromatic abbreviation is zero. Now I'm going to click on the atmosphere and turn off the fog option in here and turn off the wind option in this place. So I'm going to reduce the uh, sun's brightness a little bit, something like that, about 39%. And the night sky brightness is not really important in this place. Look at these shadows in here. When I increase the shadow sharpness, you can see better shadows in this place, and it's really wonderful. So, I prefer to use some type of shadow sharpness related to 88%. Artificial light brightness related to the Aldi spotlights and artificial lights. But we don't have any type of artificial lights right now. So, I'm gonna don't change it, and 100 is good. Ambient brightness related to the interior lighting, but right now we don't need it, so we don't change it too much. About the skybox, in the clouds option, I'm gonna turn off the Osiris amount and I have better clouds and clear sky in here. Clouds variety is good, I think we don't need to change them. And density, if you want some cloudy weather, you can increase the density. And if you want to decrease it to see more sun in your environment, you can decrease it. So 46% is really good and output is good. So everything is good for us right now. I'm going to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode. And I think everything is done for me right now. So I'm going to continue my job with the rendering. So I'm going to click on this shot in here, something like that. And now I'm going to click on the screenshot button in here and save. As you can see, it takes a little bit time and after that you can see the final result of the endscape. These type of renders are completely same as some renders in the Illumion magazines or other type of scenes in the V-Ray. So it takes a little bit time and after that when I click on the uh, picture bar in here, my latest image. And this is the result. So I'm going to click on the SketchUp environment, press F on my keyboard and turn my camera to the uh, second camera shot. This time we will zoom on these targets much more than the past. So 48 degree for the field of view is good. And now I want to render it, but I really don't like this type of sun position. So I'm going to click on the skybox and increase the density. Now we have some cloudy weather and we can see cloud reflections on our surfaces like this glass in here. So I want to render it but before we rendering I think I can improve my lighting and image bar related to the color temperature. So I need some warm GI global illumination calculation in my environment. So I'm going to decrease color temperature about 5270 like this and atmosphere is good. So I can play with the sun's position very simple and easy. Something like that for example. Some type of rays in here, something like this. And now I can click on the screenshot button and save this render too. As you can see, under one minute, we create these two renders very simple and easy with some realistic tools in the Enscape and SketchUp. So it takes a little bit of time and after that, you can see the result very simple and easy. So I'm going to refresh my pictures and this is the uh, second render that we have in here. So this is the second and this is the uh, first. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for your watching, thanks for your support, if you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel and goodbye.